wonderful. I had times where I was, I was full, and I even was moved to tears. Was anybody moved to tears? There was so much beauty, so much power. So this morning, I want to talk about what I know and what we, the Black Women's Health Imperative, know about Black Women's Health. We do way too much. We take care of everybody but ourselves. Does anybody here have too much on their plate? So the thing I know about black women is we don't see our health and we don't see ourselves as being broke and broke down. That's not how we view ourselves. We surveyed 5,000 black women to find out what they thought about health. And what we heard from them is black women said, if I get my mind right and my spirit right and my money right, I can take care of everything else. So now I'm going to say something that's going to make you mad. We work too much. No, really, too much. It turns out that black women work almost 20% more than everybody else. To no benefit. There's no greater productivity. We don't make more money for our companies. We don't save more money. We don't get promoted faster. So imagine, what could you do with that extra eight to 10 hours a week that was just yours? The other thing I know about black women is we're under stress. We've heard that. And we know stress causes a whole host of diseases. We talk about diabetes and heart disease, um, hypertension. Well, it turns out that black women have about 15% more cortisol in their bloodstream. It's a stress hormone than white women. And cortisol changes the way we metabolize food. So if you get black women and white women the same high-fat diet, we gain more weight and gain it faster. If you give us the same low-fat diet, we lose less weight and lose it more slowly. So while doctors and public health people talk about obesity and self-control, I'm here to tell you if anybody on this planet has self-control, it's black women. And the last thing I'm going to say is we showed up and showed out last November, didn't we? We ran in record numbers. We got elected in record numbers. Many of us won. Some of us were cheated. Some of us will be back to win again. Last year, somebody asked me, is this the year of the black woman? Yes, 2018 the year of the black woman. And I said, it could be. And so could 2019 and so could 2020. But in order for that to be the case, we should take care of ourselves and take care of each other. So I want everybody in this room to commit to doing two things. First, I want everybody to make a list. Make a list of all your stressors, all those things that really have you stressed out. And then make a list of everybody who can help you, even if you haven't talked to them in a long time. Make a list. Just like when people ask you, when your sister asks you for help, you say yes. These people will help you. Draw a line between that thing that's stressing you out and that person or those people who can help you. And then ask them for help. Please ask them for help. You are not in this alone, and there is no reason for you to try to do everything by yourself. And the second thing I want you to do to help us make sure this is the year of the black women is to breathe. There's something very simple. Five, seven, nine. Breathe in for five beats. Hold it for seven. Breathe out for nine. It will lower the amount of cortisol in your bloodstream. It'll slow your heart rate. It'll clear your head. So you can really focus on what's important. You do that four or five times, you will feel the difference. It only takes about a minute. And the last thing I'll say is please join the Black Women's Health Imperative. Join us online, on social media. Go to our website, download our Index Us. It's the only report on Black Women's Health based on healthy black women. Download our policy agenda, Black Women Vote. You should have one in your bag if you don't. Kim downstairs would be happy to give you one at our table. Educate yourself on, on our key health policy issues. There's a scorecard in the back of it that you can use to hold your elected officials accountable for their position on Black Women's Health. And the last thing I'll say I know about Black Women is that we are strong, we are resilient, and we are passionate about our health. And we are all valuable and worthy, every one of us in this room, because we did one thing this morning. We woke up. Thank you.